In this video, we're going to cover how to assemble your mobile or stationary case with the Magtech iDynamo 6 card reader, how to connect your card reader in POS settings, and some basic troubleshooting. POS case assembly instructions. These are the compatible iPad models for the cases. The case comes in two sizes for iPad and iPad mini. The assembly steps are the same for both sizes. Start by removing the case and card reader from their respective boxes. Set aside the gray spacers as they will not be used. You will need a medium sized Phillips head screwdriver to complete the assembly steps. On the back of the case, remove the center retaining screw to separate the two halves. The larger half contains the power supply board and card reader power cable. The smaller half is where the card reader is seated. Carefully slide the iPad into the large side of the case, making sure to leave the lightning port of the iPad exposed. Remove the four screws to separate the clamshell. There is a contactless payment icon on both the case and the card reader. Make sure that they are both facing the same direction. Plug the USB-C power cable from the power supply board into the iDynamo 6 card reader. Reassemble the clamshell and replace the screws. Do not fully tighten the clamshell screws until after the assembly is complete as this will provide you with additional play when assembling the case with the iPad. Carefully orient the internal cable so that it is not in the way. Slide the two halves together, making extra sure that it's fully aligned. Failure to properly align the card reader with the iPad port during assembly can permanently damage the card reader. Do not struggle when assembling the case. Replace the screw on the back of the case to secure the two halves together. In the stationary configuration, you'll attach the stand using the four thumb screws supplied with the stand. Lay the case face down, orient the case so the card reader will be on your right when the stand is assembled, and align the holes in the stand with the threaded holes in the case. Tighten the screws to complete the stand assembly. In the mobile configuration, you'll attach the internal battery and the hand strap. Remove the retaining screw for the battery compartment. Remove the battery compartment cover. Insert the battery, being careful not to force it, logo up with the word power opposite of the card reader. The hand strap assembly includes a replacement cover for the battery compartment. Both the battery cover and the strap have a long end and a short end. Insert the long end of the strap into the long end of the cover plate. And the short end of the strap into the short end of the cover plate. Snap the two ends of the strap together. When placing the cover onto the case, the long end of the cover goes toward the long end of the case. Replace the retaining screw to complete the installation. Connecting the card reader. Next, we'll set up the card reader in Rescue POS. Tap on the gear to enter settings. Tap Configure Card Readers. Choose the first option, Magtech iDynamo or KDynamo. And where it says Select Model, tap the button that says Unknown. Choose KDynamo iDynamo 6 from the pop-up. The app needs to restart and will close automatically. Reopen the Rescue POS app. Tap the Settings gear. You should now see that the card reader is connected. But we're not done yet. We need to run a test transaction and add a product to the order that you will purchase with your own card. You can issue a refund when the test is complete. At the checkout screen, you will not see a button that says credit card. 
but look above the keypad for the message EMV status. It might take a moment to come ready, but when the status says ready, insert your card into the chip reader, face up with the chip facing toward you. The transaction should complete successfully. If you have any trouble with this step, please contact Rescue Support for assistance. Card Reader Troubleshooting If you ever find it necessary to disassemble the case, we have some helpful tips for you. For the stationary POS, remove all four screws securing the case to the stand. Remove the center retaining screw on the back of the case. Remove the four screws securing the card reader in the clamshell. Be very careful when separating the two sides of the case. The cable connecting the two halves is very short. If you pull hard, you can easily stress the cable, damaging the case and the control board. Remove the card reader from the clamshell. Once the two halves are separated, carefully slide the iPad out of the case. Do not put pressure on the glass screen of the iPad as this can break the screen. Reassemble the case without the iPad or the card reader, replacing all the screws where they go. This is the easiest way to make sure that you do not lose any of the screws. Card Reader Light Codes Provide the light code to rescue support if you are having trouble with your card reader. The card reader has a built-in battery pack. A light on the card reader is visible through the case. The blink pattern and color of the light can provide information about the state of the card reader. No light. This means that the card reader is not connected and is not receiving power. Solid green light. This is the normal state, indicating that the card reader is connected, receiving power, and has a good charge. Solid yellow light. This indicates that the card reader is losing charge and should be charged soon. Solid red light. This indicates that the card reader charge is very low and needs to be charged immediately. Slow blink green. The card reader is charging and the charge level is good. Charging is almost full. Slow blink yellow. The card reader is charging and the current level is below normal. Continue charging when possible. Slow blink red. The card reader is charging and the current level is low. Continue charging the card reader. Fast flash green. A card has just been swiped on the reader. Solid green for two seconds. A credit card has just been successfully read. Solid red for two seconds. A credit card was not successfully read. Solid blue indicates a device firmware update is in progress. POS case lights. For cases equipped with an installed battery, there are also light codes that can be helpful. If you are experiencing issues and your case includes a battery pack, provide the case light status to rescue support. The two lights located on the back of the case indicate the power level based on color and blink speed. As the battery level gets lower, the indicator lights will go from solid green to rapidly blinking green to blinking red. Slow green blinking indicates a good charge. Fast green blinking indicates decreasing charge. Intermittently blinking green and red indicates the case should be charged soon. Red blinking indicates the case should be charged immediately. The red light will continue to blink faster until the battery is fully drained, at which point there will be no light. Card Reader Hardware Errors This section looks at what to do if you experience issues with your card reader. First, check the light on the card reader. If it is off, this would indicate that the card reader battery is fully drained. Connect the charger and confirm that the light changes to blinking red. This indicates that the card reader needs extended charging to resume service. If the card reader light is green, check if it's connected in the Rescue POS app settings. Note the indicator for the connection status next to card reader. If the card reader is connected in settings, go to the checkout screen. Confirm that the status above the keypad shows 
EMV status ready. Note, it is normal for the status to switch between ready and not ready. If all of these things check out, the card reader should be operating normally. If the card reader has a green light but is not showing connected in settings, or the EMV status never comes ready, power the iPad off and back on and reopen the Rescue app. Check the connection status, run a test transaction, check the EMV status. And if it works, you fix the problem. If you're still having trouble, contact Rescue Support for additional assistance. We hope you found this video helpful. In this video, we covered how to assemble the case, how to connect the card reader to the POS, how to read light codes for the card reader and the case, and how to troubleshoot card reader errors. Thank you for watching.